everyone, we're going to find the Taylor series for f of x equals 1 divided by x centered at the given value of a equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to write it in this form. So we need to crank out some derivatives. So if we start with the original, just f of x, so we're going to write f of negative 3 equals 1 divided by x, and we're evaluating this at x equals negative 3. And when you uh, substitute that in, we're going to get this equals negative 1 third. All right, let's do this first derivative. So this would be this term here. So that's going to be at negative 3. When you differentiate this, you can get negative 1 divided by x squared and evaluate that at x equals negative 3 and this is going to equal negative 1 divided by 3 squared. Alright, for this term, so that's n is 2, f double prime of negative 3 equals 2 divided by x cubed. We're evaluating at x equals negative 3 and that's going to give me negative 2 divided by 3 uh, cubed. All right, let's do uh, the third term, uh, or the fourth term actually. So that's the triple prime, negative 3. This is negative 6 divided by x to the power of 4. And we're evaluating at x equals negative 3. This equals negative 6 divided by 3 to the fourth power. And then let's do one more. So for 4, uh, take the fourth derivative at negative 3. That's going to equal 24 divided by x to the fifth power. When you evaluate that at x equals negative 3, that's going to be negative 24 divided by 3 to the fifth power. So if I write this as a sum, um, this is going to be the sum n equals 0 to infinity and we are we are taking our nth derivatives of negative 3 and then our denominator is going to be and I'm just using our formula here n factorial times x minus negative 3 is going to be x plus 3 to the power of n. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and expand this and let's see what we get. So this is going to be a little boo boo there. Let's this is going to equal negative one third divided by zero factorial times x plus three to the power of zero plus negative one uh, third squared divided by one factorial times x plus three to the first power plus negative 2 um, uh, divided by 3 cubed divided by 2 factorial which is going to be x plus 3 squared plus negative 6 divided by 3 to the fourth power this is 3 factorial let's uh, this is x plus 3 cubed and let's do one more plus negative 24 divided by 3 to the fifth power divided by 4 factorial uh, times x plus 3 to the fourth plus dot 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 we could go on and on so this is going to give me the sum n equals 0 to infinity of negative n um, factorial divided by 3 to the power of n plus 1, all divided by n factorial. So all I'm dealing with is this uh, at the top here. All right, now, uh, then we still have our x plus 3 to the nth power. So this is going to uh, simplify to um, negative, uh, pulling out the negative, n equals 0 to infinity and simplifying uh, these two, we're going to get uh, x plus 3 to the nth power divided by 3 
to the power of n plus 1. This just cancels out. All right, now that we have that, we have to find the in, uh, radius of convergence. So we're going to use the ratio test for that. So remember this, or I can write it down again if you want. So let's do that. Let me write this down as um, negative sum from n equals 0 to infinity uh, x plus 3 to the nth power divided by 3 to the power of n plus 1. All right, so using the ratio test, we're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity. This is the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. This is your a sub n, saying sub for subscript. All right, now let's fill out everything. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity. Now uh, everywhere there's an n, put n plus 1. So you're going to get x plus 3 to the power of n plus 1 divided by 3 to the power of n plus 2. So I just added 1 there. All right, and then um, we're dividing by a sub n, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's going to be 3 to the power of n plus 1 divided by uh, x plus 3 to the nth power. All right, let's simplify all this. Get the limit as n approaches infinity. Now what's going to happen with this? When you divide this out, this is just going to be absolute value of x plus 3. And for this one, this is just going to be 3. You have 3 to the n plus 1 minus n minus 2. So that's 3 to the um, negative first power. So that's just going to be 3. All right, and that's going to equal, when you do the limit, absolute value of x plus 3 divided by 3. Now for convergence, it has to be less than 1. Therefore, absolute value of x plus 3 cross multiply is less than 3. So your radius of convergence is 3. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.